Alrighty, let's look at these six graphs that the IB want you to know. So first of all, for a zero order reaction, that's where that little zero there comes in. The concentration of the reactant A is raised to the power zero. Well, let's do a small table. Let's say the rate is constant, so it's one, that makes it easy for everyone. Let's draw out a little table and let me make up some concentrations for A. So constant of the rate is one, one, one. And the concentration of A, let's say two, four, six. Alrighty. So let's see what I would be predicted to have for A to the zero. Well, anything raised to the power zero is one. So that wasn't so bad. So let's see what I get for the rate now. So rate is K times A raised to the zero. Well, so the rate is going to be one, one, and one. Well, let's see what that looks like on a graph. There are two sorts of graphs the IB want you to know. The first is rate against the concentration of A. And plotting that, it's one, two, one, four, one, six. Alrighty, so that gives me a straight line, a horizontal line. And that's a classic zero order graph. The concentration of A has nothing to do with the rate. A changes, the rate is constant. So that means that A must be to the power zero. All right, let's look at first order, the tiny little one there for the A. Again, let's choose the rate constant to be 1 and the concentration of A to be 2, 4, and 6. I get to choose those. And so 2 to the power 1 is 2, 4 to the power 1 is 4, 6 to the power 1 is 6. Lovely, so let's look at what my rate would be. So rate is K times A to the 1, 1 times 2, 1 times 4, 1 times 6. Okay, so let's plot the same graph of rate against concentration of A. And this gives me a distinctive first order graph. 2, 2, 4, 4, 6, 6. So it's a line through the origin. That's a classic first order graph. And let's look at second order. So rate is K concentration of A squared. And let's kick off with the same table. Again, the rate constant, it's constant. I'll choose 1, that's easy. And so A squared is 4, 16, and 36. Same graph, rate against the concentration of A. And this should give me a typical second order graph. By plotting those three points, rate against A, 4, 2, 16, 4, and 36, 6 on my graph, I get this sweeping up curve. And that's a classic second order. So at high concentrations of A, I have very, very high rates. Alrighty, a quick summary of those three graphs. Rate against A, there's the horizontal one, the one that goes through 0, 0, like that is first order, with an unchanging gradient, and the one with a changing gradient is second order. Let's look at three different graphs. There's six in total. So for this time, uh, we're not going to do A on the x-axis. We're going to do time. And we're not going to have rate. We're going to have the concentration of A. Ooh. All right, then. So a graph that goes down like that, that's a zero-order graph. You can see that the concentration of A changes regularly with time. It doesn't really seem to be affecting the rate at all. At high A, and at low concentration of A, the rate is the same. And the rate is the gradient. Change of A over the change of T. So it's a constant gradient. Lots of A, a little bit of A, the rate's the same. So A has nothing to do with the rate. It's the same rate, whether there's lots of A or a little bit of A. So that's A raised to the power zero, a zero order. First order, oh, I wish that had been smoother now. That's a first order, it's supposed to be a smooth curve there. And you can see, again, the gradient is the rate. That at high concentrations of A, there's a high rate. And at low concentrations of A, there's a low rate. Well, that's different to before. The rate didn't change at all. Now the rate's changing. So a high rate, high A concentration, a low rate, low A concentration. So there's a relationship between the rate and A, unlike before. Well, they were independent.
So rate is k a to the 1 in this case. It's an a to the 1 relationship. Now the second order graph is an even steeper curve going down. Second order there. Now you can see at the beginning the rate's very, very high, even steeper than anything we've seen before for a high concentration of A. And so that's a classic second order graph. Steeper than A to the 1. All right then, so let's just have one more look at these. So that's the zero order, the two graphs you need for zero order. So looking at the right-hand graph, the rate is the slope. And let's say the slope is, I don't know, 10 molar per second. I don't know. That's unchanging. The slope's unchanging. So on the left-hand graph, that's where the 10 is. And actually, the rate constant is 10 as well. For first order, we've got these two graphs. High rate at the beginning, low rate at the end. High rate, high A, low rate, low A, and that's reflected in the graph on the left. For second order, oh, I had enough of this, eh? For second order, it's these two graphs. Very high rate. And so that kind of gives that exponential like graph there on the left. This is the longest I've ever spent doing one of these videos, yuck. <laughs>